Hi there, we're going to carry on now and have a look at a few of the menu functions within Video Slide Creator. First one is on File. If uh, you've not set a background just yet, when you click on New, it will just blank it out. If you've already set a background, that's fine, you can go ahead and save, but when there's no background image or color being set, it won't let you save. Same with Save As. It will let you import either a PPT file or a document file. And of course it will let you exit. So what we're going to do today is just have a look through a couple of bits and pieces. First thing I want to do is to go to Options and choose the size that I'm going to record that. And the default is 960 by 720 which gives you HD quality. And we'll just leave that for the moment. I'm going to use a computer voice on this particular one and I'm going to choose the third one here which comes included with Windows 8. Leave the volume at 100%. I'm not going to adjust the speech rate or the pause in seconds between slides. Click on OK and we're going to set a background color just choose one of the standard uh, ones. Let's choose a nice blue one. Okay. And you'll see that that fills up the size that we have already chosen to record onto. I'm going to set my font color as white so it shows up. It's normally uh, chosen as the default anyway and we'll just type in some test text here let's just uh, center this for instance and make it bold and italic and underline it going to insert a soundtrack. I'm going to select from some soundtracks I already have downloaded. These are actually the 10 giveaway royalty free tracks that I supply. Let's just choose the first one. I'll leave the text-to-speech volume at 100%. Take the soundtrack volume up to 12. I'm going to check the box Repeat the Background Track for every slide that we create. Or you can leave it off and use a different soundtrack for each slide if you like. Let's just highlight that and get the computer voice to read it. May not be able to hear that. Test text. It's a little on the low side to come through the headset. If you want to add a pause at the end of the first sentence you can do that here. Just going to delete that one. If you wanted to do a find and replace, you can do that from here. If you wanted to apply a different margin, you could do that from here. I'm going to insert another slide by clicking on insert at the bottom here. And we'll put in test text slide. Let's just 
go back to slide one. Let's find an image and just pop it on there. Google. And search. Just choose the first one that comes up. Just click on it. Hit the right arrow. Click on finish. You can see that that has put that image onto slide three as default. It's created a new slide for it. If you wanted to type some text on top of this, you can do so. You can resize the size of the image, etc. We're not going to bother with that just for the moment. You can do other things here, another background image, soundtrack, or another image altogether. We're just going to create a video to let you see. Create an MP4. Which I'm just going to save on my desktop. Give it a name and click on save. It will now go through and do the processing it needs to do for the video. It will go through the slides one by one. We'll also add the music and the background and any images that you have on the slides. And this will take a minute or two, so I'm just going to pause the video and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back again and it's opened Test up text in slide two. the video player that's set a standard on this computer. We'll just go through and play that again and you can hear the computer voice speak out the text or perhaps not. It depends on whether you can hear through my headphones or not. Test text. Test text slide 2. And you can hear the background music uh, playing away in the background there. I'll load this file up so that you can actually have a look at it. I'll also put a link to the 10 giveaway royalty free music tracks uh, under this video thanks for watching see you in the next one